find the lines of symmetry. So if we draw a triangle like this, fold the triangle in different ways to see test for lines of symmetry. So you can see that they've shown this one. What are we calling that one? Yeah. A vertical. Vertical line of symmetry. Okay. Does it have a horizontal line of symmetry? No. 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 Does it have a diagonal line of symmetry? Yes. No. Is that a line of symmetry? Okay. It is a line of symmetry. It's a triangle that if you took it and you folded it this way, it would be exactly the same. Okay. Can this be another diagonal line of symmetry? Well, I drew it bad, but if I drew it right, would that be another line of symmetry? Yes. 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 How many lines of symmetry does this triangle have? Three. 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 Okay. In this triangle, how many sides does it have? Three. Three. And how many lines of symmetry does it have? Three. Okay. Look at a square. How many sides does a square have? Four. Show me on your fingers how many lines of symmetry you think it has. Diagonals both ways. Okay. So how many is that total? Four. Four. Go ahead and write it. Oh, first of all, how many sides? Four. Show me on your fingers how many lines of symmetry for this one. From here? No. Would that one work? Whichever. <laughs> that one works. And then basically it's from vertice to vertice. Okay, so how many was that? Two. Two. How many sides on a rhombus? Four. How many lines of symmetry? Talk to your neighbors. You're doing this with your hand, like in half. You mean from vertice to vertice? Across like diagonal like this? Is that what you're showing me? Okay. Any other ones? Ebony? The opposite vertices? Like that? Okay. Is there any more? How many sides on my trapezoid? Four. On this trapezoid, how many lines of symmetry do you think there are? So, Benny, tell me which one you found. A vertical one, straight down the middle? There's only one. Um, Jalen, tell me a line of symmetry. A horizontal line of symmetry. Okay. Um, Luna, tell me another one. Vertice to, I'm going to pick a vertice, this one, and where's the next one going to go? Straight across. Okay. And Tony. Um, you can go diagonal the other way. Kind of like this one, but this way? Yeah. Okay, so that's three. Through which part? So he's saying diagonal, but not necessarily through the vertices. What am I going to go through? A side? Yeah. Like through the middle of the side? Yeah. There you go. Through the middle of the side. And we can do that three times. There's one straight through the middle, vertical, and then there's all the sides. So that was six lines of symmetry. We did it all through all the vertices across from each other, and we did it from all the middle of the sides across from each other. So this polygon, this hexagon, I mean, has six lines of symmetry. In a regular polygon, all sides are equal and all sides of the angle, angles are equal. So something that is called a regular polygon means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. And what that means, let me show you. This triangle is a regular triangle. Each one of these sides equals each other in length. Remember how we show that with the little lines like this? Okay. The angles also equal each other. You can tell looking at them. The angle in between, these are all the same angles. That looks really ugly. But the sides and the angles are the same. So this is a regular polygon. The square, are all the sides equal? By definition of a square, yes, they are. Are all the angles equal? Yeah. Yes. Yes, because they're all right angles. So this is a regular polygon, this one. Look at this parallelogram. Are all sides equal length? Yes. yes. 
Yes, they, they're probably, they look like it. Are all the angles equal sizes? No. no. Yes. Yeah. This is an acute angle, and this is an obtuse angle. Can they be equal size? No. No, this is a little skinny angle right here, and this one is like a wider angle. So this is not a regular polygon. Okay. What about this one? Are all the sides the same? It's a rhombus. No. Yes. yes. It's a rhombus. Are all sides the same? Yes. yes. Yes, they are. By definition, a rhombus has equal length sides. Do the angles all equal each other? No. This is acute and this is obtuse. Can they equal each other? No. No, they cannot. So this is not a regular polygon. What about the trapezoid? No. No. It does not have equal side length, equal length sides, and it does not have equal size angles. All right, look at the hexagon and decide. Is it a regular polygon? Yes. yes. It is. All the sides are equal, and all of the angles are equal. So this is a regular polygon. Now, now that we've gone through that, what do you notice about the number of lines of symmetry in regular polygons? Look back. What do you notice? So there's the same amount of lines of symmetry for the same number of sides there are. So this one has six and six. This one has four sides and four lines. This one has three sides and three lines. Is that going to apply to all triangles and all shapes? It's only going to apply to shapes that are regular polygons, meaning <coughs> that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. That rule will apply. All right, here's a really good question for you. How many lines of symmetry does a circle have? Zero. Think, Nicholas. Billions. Infinite. Yes. Every single line that you draw through the middle is a line of symmetry. So if I had a really thin piece of something to draw the line through, I can draw an infinite amount of um, lines of symmetry through a circle, okay? Make a design by using more than one pattern block. We're not going to use the pattern blocks because you can just draw. Record your design and then draw a line of symmetry. So looking at this bow-shaped item, they, were, they drew it and then they made two lines of symmetry. You're going to get to make your own design with one line of symmetry. Can anybody think of any kind of shape that I can draw that would only have one line of symmetry? What do you think, Haley? A heart. A heart. Okay, pretend that it's a perfect heart. It is a perfect heart. It is. It is a beautiful This side's higher. My line of symmetry goes in which direction? Vertical. Vertical. Assuming it's a perfectly drawn heart, are there any other lines of symmetry on the heart? No, there's no other lines. All right, make a design with more than two lines of symmetry. Think of a shape or an object that would have more than two lines of symmetry. Okay, so this would have this one, this one, this one, and that one, so it has four. Make a design with zero lines of symmetry. Go ahead and draw just some random design that has no lines of symmetry. Okay, look at the shape at the right. It has line symmetry. Draw the two lines of symmetry. So I'm going to draw them. We have a horizontal one and we have a vertical one. 